Oh, Jodie, it's so amazing to have you here. Having an actual doctor on our Stand Up To Cancer celebrity special. Yeah, thanks, but I've just done so much other work as well, so it'd be nice to chat about that. Well, I'd like to chat about the fact that we don't want you having an unfair advantage, especially mixing your cake mix with a sonic screwdriver. What <laughs> going on about Doctor Who? Extra my no bag, problem. extra my no, bag, no, extra, no, 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 extra no. my bag. Welcome to the great stand up to cancer bake off. Extra my bag. Oh, it's proper cringe. No, not feeling it. <laughs> I'm really excited. Yeah. I've just got to really remind myself to focus, which I struggle with a little bit, and I've had quite a lot of caffeine to get myself here. On your marks. Get set. Bake. Ah! <laughs> We're going to bake. We're baking. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm completely incompetent. Tell us all about your cake pops, what so are you doing? I'm making eight identical sun cake pops. Sun is in sun. Ah, right. Have you practiced this? I'm not very good at homework, but I've always really loved winging it. <laughs> okay. I like the adrenaline. Hang on, I haven't yet gone around the universe in the TARDIS. Do you think Dialogue. this is bigger than you thought it would be, or smaller? The tent? <laughs> I can't think of a gag. It's the perfect time. <laughs> Why's that in? I'm going to check it in 15 minutes. Is that right? I think it's a bit runny. I haven't done my little faces. Can you tell what they are? It looks like a moustache. They're meant to look like sunglasses. Bakers, your time is up. Woo! Step away from your bakes and get on each other's shoulders. <laughs> Don't, I've got yellow on my hands, babe. I've got yellow. I'll ruin your tinfoil <laughs> dress. <laughs> In my head, it was definitely going to look better. I love that they're wearing sunglasses. They're yeah. protecting their eyes from themselves. Yep. <laughs> that, Jodie, is delicious. <gasps> OK, cool. Yes, Jodie. It looked a bit random, but they seemed to enjoy it. I don't think I've ever baked anything savoury except a Yorkshire pudding, so I ain't got a clue. I don't think this feels right, if I'm honest. we just got to wait for it to double in size. What if that takes, like, half an hour? Ooh! It's like the bloody Chamber of Secrets in there. It's not changing shape. It's yours. It's gone a little bit bigger. Yeah, mine's a bit bigger, but it's not doubled. You can't rush these things out. Oh, my God, I've just seen it grow. It's so boring. Paloma, have you, is yours doubled? I don't think it has doubled in size. I suppose the thing is, I don't really know what I'm doing. Right, I'm just going to go for it. Got bigger? Mm, a bit. Smaller? I did do a test where I pushed it and my fingers stayed in it. Is that good or bad? I think that's bad. <laughs> This is really tight now. You can't see any gaps in this at all. The colour's good, the flavour's good, the texture's all right, it's just far too thick. Now, right, I need to really focus. <laughs> oh, my God. Clean up an hour five. When I was doing Doctor Who, because I'd, like, expressed my joy of a custard cream, there was a, a pedal in the TARDIS that was built specifically for my doctor, and if I pressed on it, a custard cream popped out. <laughs> <laughs> so I could have a snack while I was flying. Oh, my God, it's proper custard! It's all going to go wrong, I can feel it. It's breaking. OK. It ain't neat, but at least some of it relies on the taste. If you look, there's like lots of little details. There's a twinkle in Paul's eyes. <laughs> I've got a beard. Where's my beard? I think if you were really going to focus in on it, neither of you have got a nose. <laughs> <laughs> I love the taste of the custard creams. They taste like the real thing. Really good. Thank you. Well done, yeah. Yeah. Right, I have absolutely loved it. It was amazing.